Howdy! This is Tom DeVere West Park. Right, Google the moment. I am continuing, continue, continuing on the IPA theme with the Pyramid Outburst, uh, the Imperial IPA from from the good folks at Pyramid, um, Seattle, Washington, Berkeley, California, Portland, Oregon. I don't know exactly where this one came from, but somewhere out there. You know, I had this one a while back, and I was incredibly surprised, to be honest with you, because I never hear... Uh, uh, I thought it was maybe a new version, but it's not. I mean, it's a year-rounder. It's not a uh, seasonal. And I never hear this one in the conversation of the great Imperial IPAs. You always hear Hop Slam. Uh, optimums get in the picture. You always hear about dogfish heads, uh, and you always hear about hey topper. But this one never makes the conversation, and I kind of wonder why that is. Um, most pyramid knocks out some pretty solid brews. All the most of the session line doesn't knock my socks off. I don't know if I've ever had anything from that really sucked. But for some reason, their beers don't get in that conversation of the best, and I'm kind of wondering why that is. Uh, it's a nice color there. Uh, shake, 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 shake my booty. Uh, this one uses two-row uh, Munich caramel and Kara red malts. Uh, you got a little, a little reddish in the tint there. Uh, the hops are Nugget, Chinook, Cascade, and CTZ. Um, along with Falconer's Flight, and uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Zythos or Zythos, yeah, that, are, uh, that they use for dry hopping. Dry hopped with Falconer's Flight and Zythos. Uh, eight and a half, 80 IBUs. Um, respectable numbers. Um, you know, the Hot Slam uh, and uh, the Hoptimum are both bigger, but the Heady Topper runs about those same numbers. And it always makes that conversation. So I'm really curious why this one doesn't for a couple of reasons. I mean, taste and quality. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, most Imperial IPA drinkers like that, like the, the hops to kind of linger on their palate for a long time. And this one does that. Uh, it does. Uh, I noticed that the first time I had it. It has that beautiful just oh, punch that, that just grabs you. Um, also price. I mean, I found it at one store for seven and a half. Uh, most places seem to have it for about eight and a half to to nine a six pack. But in the world uh, of uh, you know Imperial IPAs, if we're talking an eight percent or eight and a half percent ADIV beer, that is incredibly cheap. Even if it's even at nine dollars a six pack, uh, when you consider the uh, the Hop Slam runs about twenty a six. Uh, the optimum goes for uh, you know about eleven to four, uh, you know, and that's what most of them are going at. I don't know what the heady topper goes for. Uh, I know dogfish heads are very expensive, so why doesn't this beer get in a conversation uh, uh, for affordability alone? I mean, I think I think that's where the the beer snobbery comes into play. It's a uh, I think some of those beer snobs only take beer seriously that they have to pay X amount for. Uh, you know, that's extremely wrong. And, and the fact is that, that most of these, those, those so-called seriously high-priced beers could be priced lower. And it's the beer snobs that are driving that price up. Uh, again, I'm hard on the beer snobs. Nah, I don't do it all the time, but every once in a while they need a pound in because they're, they're just killing it for us. But anyway, this is a great beer. It should be a beer in conversation uh, amongst the, the the top IPAs. I don't know why it's not. And I like to, for some of the serious beer snobs out there to take, take I'm pretty sure what I'm saying. Tell me exactly why they don't think this one should make it up there. I mean, you know, I've said before, I don't think it's about which is better because they're all quality beers. This is every bit of the same quality as any of those that I mentioned. So, <coughs> Excuse me, don't let the beer snobs win out there. 
Get a good beer for a good price. Pyramid Outburst IPA. 